This is the Anself CMG solar charge controller. It's the first solar charge controller I purchased along with my panel. I got it off of Amazon and I should say that I don't actually know if this is genuine. There are a lot of counterfeit solar charge controllers so it can be a bit difficult to tell. It's a PWM model, or with PWM controller, there is no MPPT counterpart, and it's not very good. Now, physically, the design of it is actually not bad. I've taken the screws out. It has no less than three bucket converters in it. One for the uh, control logic, one for the 12 volt output jacks, and one for the USB. This, I think that's what they all go to. The big red button there, is uh, for turning the main output on and off. As you see, it's all very, maybe excessively designed. This is very complicated. It measures uh, current from the panels, current to the load, and battery voltage. This chip here is a dual op-amp, so I'm guessing it's got current shunts in here somewhere. This chip here is one of the sneaky chips they've taken off the part number. Now, I assume that's the microcontroller but I can't say any more than that because the part number is definitely gone. On the other side it has four MOSFETs and one diode. It's a dual Scott key but they're both pointing in the same, they're, it's wired up as one so I'm guessing that is the blocking diode. So that's all good. The problem is in the firmware. When I first took this up, it took my batteries up to over 15 volts, at which point they started to bubble in gas. I then took it off, used my own controller for a while that I built until that broke down, put this back on, and now it won't take them up above 12 and a half. It starts charging them, gets a 12 and a half, and that's it, it stops. No more current flows, even with a good lot of sunlight on the panels. So I don't know what kind of algorithm this is using to charge the batteries, other than the wrong one. It's basically unusable because this firmware is so bad. If that could be fixed, if someone could reverse engineer it, then it would be a pretty good controller. But as it is, I would say, just don't buy this.